What's going on everybody? It is Wild William. Today we're back out here playing the Rookie Hunter Part 2. This is the second video and it's going to be kind of like the last one, but with us completing that first set of missions, we went ahead and we unlocked all the missions th throughout the whole entire game. All the animals that have missions, all the bows that have missions, everything. We got all the missions in the game and that's going to be a huge focus for um, earning some GMs early on in this game because as you guys can see up top we only got 523 GMs from our last hunt but we only completed three sets of missions and all these missions that at the very start are only going to be worth 100 GMs a piece so you definitely want to kind of pick one or two to go ahead and sit down and just focus on and make sure you're really paying attention to all the other missions and if there's any other missions that you can branch off for your second hunt I would definitely do so and I'm going to go ahead and show you a few that you can pick up and a few that make a lot of sense to go ahead and do for your second hunt, you could say, if you successfully got your first whitetail deer missions complete. So we're gonna go ahead and pick up the next whitetail deer mission, and that is pick an eight point whitetail deer. So that's not that bad. That's not that hard. Eight an eight point on this game really is not too too big and too concerning to do. But mule deer mission, we have another one right here, harvest a mule deer buck, which we've done in the previous episode. But now that we have the missions, we're gonna have to go ahead and restart and do that. So, and then right above the white tail, you're going to have the knowledge to hunt mission. You're going to click on that, locate five sets of tracks from one and the same mule deer during one hunt. So that's not too hard. So basically what that means is once you shoot your mule deer buck, you want to go ahead and I'll show you guys in the hunt. You want to go ahead and go back, backtrack and grab his, grab his tracks, walking away from him, and then come back and pick up your buck and you should get that mission. Now with us hunting on loggers point again i definitely want you guys to go ahead and pick up the coyote mission um all it is is spot a coyote so if you guys see a coyote in the distance try to get your spot on them and spot that coyote and get that experience and go ahead and get that mission complete to go ahead and kickstart another mission and that's more gms and if you can take your shot on them go for it coyotes are some great money in this game so now with us scrolling down here there are a couple miscellaneous ones that you're going to want to go ahead and look for. The other one is Nosler mission right here. Harvest a mule deer using a 243. Uh, so basically you want to get two mule deer with your 243 in the same hunt, which we should hopefully be able to successfully do without a problem. Another one you definitely want to pick up is a cottontail rabbit. And this is a spot, a cottontail rabbit in Logger's Point, an ID, tracks or droppings. Then it tells you to go to Settler's Creek and do the same thing. So you just want to kind of get started. We're just getting this one started. We're just getting this one going. So if we see a rabbit, we're going to spot him. We're going to grab his track. And that's half of mission done in this hunt. Now, I believe there was a few more here that we're going to want to go ahead and look into. Um, uh, where's the pheasant one? Oh, there's my cat in the background. There's my kitty cat. Kitty cat. Okay, I know there's a pheasant right here. Pheasant mission right here. Pheasant mission is right below the coyote. I should have seen that. Uh, but it says call me. Identify, identify a pheasant call and spot a pheasant. Not hard if you're in the right area on Logger's Point. They're, they call like crazy and you can always see them. So I believe that should be it. But real quick, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and take a break for a second and go ahead and look through these 54 available. And you guys, we got seven active. This could be, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, sorry. Been kind of a little under the weather. But this could be a great payout for GMs if we can go ahead and get most of these done today. Um, let's, let me go ahead, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and check under the available 54 and go ahead and see if there's any more that you guys should pick up for hunting on Logger's Point for the second time, your second hunt. But hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, so I don't think that there are any other missions for us to go ahead and pick up. And we're going to go ahead and jump back over and do another single player game. Uh, like we did in the very first episode. And we're going to go ahead and start at the Field Lodge. Same exact spot. And we're going to kind of basically do the same exact thing. Um, so last time, I'll, I'll go ahead and draw it when we get on the map and kind of show you guys what's going on. I'm starting the game at 7 o'clock. So I'm going to go ahead and load up this game and get right into the hunt. Um, you can go ahead and pick up the Feral Hogs um, missions if you guys want. But that's a uh, that's quite a bit of moving around. And I don't know how far we're going to get into this. I'm going to try to keep these a little bit shorter. And not super long. I really don't want to push it up into the 20 minute mark, but I definitely want to kind of walk you guys through why I'm doing stuff and why I'm selecting these missions and going through like that. This, you guys are going to get stuck on missions. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. You guys are going to get stuck on missions, and you guys will see um, once we go ahead and get later into these missions on why I say that. And we might hop around 
like I'm thinking I really think our next hunt is going to go ahead and be on red feather uh, some people might be like why would you do that but there's a lot of moose on there black bear and everything else like that we do have the 12 gauge with slugs can take them down and a lot of the early on missions for that kind of stuff is like spot poop on the ground for black bear uh, identify a call from a male and a cow moose and uh, get a black black tail which ain't hard um, and a couple elk ones so it's great 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 money over there to be made but we want to really focus on these mule deer and white tail missions go ahead and knock those suckers out and get as far into those as we can to go ahead and capitalize on the amount of gms we make to go ahead and hopefully hopefully here soon buy something or purchase something everything's outrageously priced uh maybe one episode i'll go ahead and sit down and kind of show you guys how to navigate through the store um Maybe we'll do that after this episode. We'll see. But you know guys, I'm going to go ahead and launch this game and go ahead and kickstart it. And uh, we'll see you guys when we get to the field. All right, guys. So we just loaded in. And you guys should. Whatever you guys left on your loadout, as long as you still had that in your inventory, it should still be equipped. But we're going to go ahead and double check here. And like I said before, um, don't worry about ammo. That's a great thing about starting, starting out right now is... Your 243 refills its ammo by itself. You don't have to actually buy it from the store, which is a huge plus or else you guys would be going through money like crazy. But what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to grab some bucks. Gosh, dang it. Um, I'm going to get rid of bird shot because I don't really want to be doing anything with that. And I'm going to go ahead and grab some buck shot just like that so that maybe we can use a shotgun if we get some uh, white tail close enough. Um, let's go ahead and reload that up. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Cool. So if maybe if we get a mule deer or white tail close enough that we can go ahead and take them out with some buckshot, I'd, it'll be fun. So we're going to go ahead and load up our guns here. And like we said, and it's also great. You guys can, you can also jot notes down or take notes on a tablet or something like that about um, what missions you need to do and everything else like that. But I'm lucky enough. I, I can go ahead and pull the missions up on why one other monitor to go ahead and capitalize on that. So get, get your guns loaded up. Both mine are rock locked and loaded and ready to go. And I always kind of pull up my map and kind of sight and just envision where I'm going to actually go on my hunt. So last time we went kind of like this and we ended up getting a couple mule deer up here. So this is definitely going to be our focus area. And we know that we've seen rabbits through here. And then later on in the hunt, we continued to push this way. And this is where you're going to find the pheasant. You're going to find pheasant all over here and coyote can be over here too. And then you start getting into whitetail territory over here like this so we're literally just going to be doing the same route and just really really focusing on knocking out these missions as quick as possible um before we go ahead and leave i'm gonna make sure all my callers are here my one caller and my binoculars yes so i'm ready to go and i'm gonna go ahead and get out into the woods and go ahead and see if we can't knock out some of these missions and hopefully we can stay within our time frame and um really capitalize on this hunt um, there's a few little things I'm going to test out during this hunt if if we can get a mission complete. Um, and that's going to be uh, Alt-Tab, select the next mission, and see if that mission works on this map, or if you have to completely restart the game. Um, down below, let me know if you guys know if that is a thing. Um, I can't remember if it is or not. I'm really, really, really drawing a blank on that. Um, I could actually probably go back and watch one of my Feral Goat missions and see but you know you guys i'm gonna be done rambling on um we're gonna go ahead start off at a slow walk and go ahead and see if we can't come across any mule deer white tail cotton tail coyotes anything that the game wants to throw at us and hopefully we can knock out some of these missions guys so we're gonna go ahead and get right into the hunt oh my god guys are you seeing what i'm seeing right now this would be another freaking rare for our oh my goodness you've got to be kidding me please turn this way i just called from behind he's hit i had to take that shot you guys this is the first there's a big group of them oh my god that was the first buck call we had we had another doe coming in right there because i kind of threw it in an audible and i rerouted myself so we're gonna go really slow we don't want to run um that's an albino mule deer buck and we just got an albino coyote the first hunt that you guys will see in a separate video because that's like my dream rare and we just shot at another albino he is hit but i don't know how well he is hit so we're gonna go pretty slow here um i that was not the buck that originally called the buck that originally called was up here and we took the shot over here oh my freaking god are you serious 
And the only reason I didn't try to get closer right there is because we had does coming down this hill right here. And I didn't I didn't want to spook any of these bucks because we I threw an audible. I'm, I threw in uh, an audible and I am actually only going to be trying to do the mule deer missions because of for time's sake and everything like that. The whitetail missions won't be too hard to go ahead and kind of wrap in as we go or even in another video when we maybe do like rabbit hunting or pheasant or something like that and get into those missions but you know what you guys stay with me here for just a moment um i definitely as you guys can probably hear i'm pretty frick i'm stoked literally i did not expect something like this is this this is something roaming right here but we're gonna go nice and slow here um i don't think it was the best shot but he is hit um sorry guys throat's getting a little little itchy so you somewhere's over here i think he was there was more than one buck over here i know i seen that okay there was something roaming coming this way he was just pasting back and forth over here this is a uh, rabbit i gotta get on his track he should have been right around here did we miss him Hey, this might be his track walking away and we'll get into the whole tracking and spotting stuff uh in the future um kind of we'll get into that kind of stuff and show you so you guys can learn more about the spotting the tracking and actually how important that is to actually get up um i'm gonna go ahead and look around um if i find some blood i'll go ahead and touch base with you guys if not we're gonna definitely put our head down and go ahead and track down this uh or try to track down it's all about blood right there. We got blood. So we did get a hit on him. Okay. He is hit, you guys. He's hit. So we're going to go nice and slow here. We're going to take our time. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick up this track. And that was quite a shot. It's a body hit, though. Gosh. Oh, that's a bummer. And see, right here, you guys, is definitely why I would recommend... Um, I, I don't know. I would recommend upgrading your optic first off. But then again, right there, if we had a bow and arrow, we could have went ahead and harvested the deer as they came in and go ahead and waited for a clean shot on this mule deer buck. But now we got blood, you guys. We're going to go ahead and track this thing down. And hopefully, hopefully he's down. We're going to give him quite a bit of time. So I'm going to probably crouch walk for quite some time. So we'll, guys, we'll see you guys if we go ahead and spot him or if we find him down, you guys. I'm so stoked. Two rares on back-to-back -back hunts, you guys. This is crazy. You guys, he just grunted. Our buck literally just grunted right over here. Oh my freaking God. You cannot make that up. He is still a, up and kicking. He's a little bit farther out than that. Okay, he's right on my dot. Oh boy, oh boy, you guys. He literally just grunted. We're going to go ahead and try to call him in. We're going to try to call this buck back in, you guys. Oh my gosh, dude. The albino buck just grunted back at us. Oh, he is still up and kicking. He's still far away, though. I probably shouldn't have done that. I'm going to try to crouch walk up as close as I can get and feel comfortable. I really should just stop and get perched up on this rock. But I don't want any other bucks to come in. And he was running with a group of them, it looked like. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to try to get a little closer. We could regret this, you guys. We really could. But I'm going to go ahead and try to belly crawl. At least up to over here. I just pointed at my screen like you guys could see at least right over here to these rocks and try to get tucked up underneath this tree right here and go ahead and maybe give out another call oh man how far away is that you guys how far away is our dot 127 kilometers oh we might be able to make it to the hill you guys so uh for us uh, and we're just gonna do it we're gonna do it we got a shotgun with buckshot so we can take a decent shot but wherever you put this marker if you go ahead and hold your cursor over that mark it goes ahead and actually tells you the distance from where you're at so right down there 125 kilometers or 0 0.078 mile so he's pretty freaking close but i think if we go ahead and stay quiet enough and stay prone we should be all right here i just oh my goodness you guys this is unbelievable this is i don't know how this is absolutely incredible two hunts two videos two rares unbelievable absolutely unfreaking believable so now we're running a risk of getting super close but i do have that shotgun let me just go ahead and double check my inventory and make sure it does have buckshot it does have buckshot so we're good on that note 
Oh my goodness, you guys, my heart is racing. I cannot believe he just called like that. I cannot, I did not expect him to call. Let me go ahead and try to get up on this rock. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get up. No. There goes the whole plan. There goes my whole plan. No. Oh. No. Okay, we should still be good right here. Come on. Can I give out another call? I think I'm going to give out another call. Okay, I have not heard him spook yet, so that is a good thing. He should be coming right at us. Okay, guys, so we're going to give him a couple minutes here. I believe we closed the distance quite a bit. Yeah, we have. I think we could maybe push to get even closer. I think we could. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and wait right here for a couple minutes and go ahead and see what happens. Um, He could have went down. He could have grunted as he went down or as he laid down. Oh, we got another buck coming in. How far away is this buck? Oh, my God, there's a big buck. That's a big, big, big old boy coming in. Yeah, that's a great buck. I'm a, I got to keep moving. We've got to try to push for this guy. I, I don't know. I need to know if that buck went down or not, you guys. So I'm going to play it kind of risky here. And if we end up bumping this buck again, we know where he was at last. We can go ahead and get back on him. We know he's still alive and kicking. Uh, but that is a real good... He might... That buck coming in. That buck coming in from our left could be about a 170s. 180s or, or higher. That's why I need to know if this one's down over here, you guys. So go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and do some ninja stealth crawling around here. Hope this buck's still alive. Our albino one's coming in. He's right there. He's down. Oh my freaking god, he guys, he's down. And that's where I wish we had a bow and arrow right there because we could, if we could have dropped that buck right there, this big one over here would still be in range. Right there. Ready to go. Oh, it looked like a doe. Oh my freaking God, you guys. It is done. Oh, we should have shot him with the 243. We need to harvest one of 243 ammo. Ah, we'll go after another buck. Oh my goodness, you guys. Back to back rares crazy two hunts oh we hit him in the body at 172 meters score of 129.961 and that's our first shotgun harvest too that was pretty freaking cool i was really hoping that he would have went down but that's all right that's all right oh my goodness we're gonna get a nice trophy picture with them so go ahead and bear with me guys we'll be right back when we'll probably be right back we completed our first mission um, i'm gonna go ahead and probably tab out and see if i can't select another one but we need to go ahead and we actually got two missions done. We went ahead and we found five tracks. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Harvested our mule deer buck. So I'm going to jump over there and see if there's another mule deer mission. And then I believe we might go ahead and go after two more mule deer bucks here. Um, if not, maybe one more and go ahead and wrap it up. I mean, this has been a treat, you guys. Actually, we're going to go after two more. We're going to complete this mission. I don't care how long this video is. Stay tuned. All right, that'll look nice for the thumbnail, you guys. So we finally just got that done, and he sells for 58 GMs. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and see if we can't go ahead and head back back to this direction this way because we know a lot of mule deer bucks went this way. He was with a group, so I'm going to go ahead and head that way, and hopefully, hopefully we can go ahead and locate another mule deer buck. All right, guys, so if you guys remember, you guys went ahead and picked up that Nosler mission also, and here I am. I'm going to go ahead and try to take out one of these mule deer does and go ahead and see if that doe will count for this mission um that can make things a lot easier so here we go okay we hit the one there's a bunch of them holy cow i didn't realize how many there was right there but um i haven't found any more mule deer bucks but we come across this big group of does and you'll come across um quite a few of these groups of mule deer does and i want to see if this nozzler mission will go ahead and accept us harvesting it says harvest mule deer so we're gonna go ahead and try to harvest a mule deer doe and there's a rabbit sitting right there there we go 
We spotted our rabbit, <clears throat> and I already found its tracks, so that rabbit mission is halfway complete. So I'm going to go ahead, and this is some bright, bright red lung blood. This is a beautiful shot, and she should not go super far. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take it nice and slow, because we could actually run into this group farther down this ravine area, and then I went ahead and I picked up the other mule deer mission that we could pick up after we completed that other one to go ahead and see if we can run into another mule deer buck here and go ahead and harvest him i think it's yeah harvest uh from at least 47.52 meters away and this this doe's already down right here you guys we crushed her so we're gonna go ahead and try that mission too and mule deer tracking leveled up right there beautiful that's what i like to see and um my phone's going off sorry but here she is right here should be a single single long yeah left long at 45.6 meters no score females don't score for this kind of stuff and they don't sell for any money for uh mule deer black tail and white tail if the does don't sell for anything but as you guys can see on the top left that does count towards your mission that is great thing to know so now if we run into another doe we can go ahead and pick her up also and we're kind of backtracking here which is not really the direction i wanted to go but i really wanted to test that theory so we need, literally it looks like we need either one more mule deer buck or one meal one more mule deer doe and one buck so we really want to hunt down a mule deer buck here so i think i might go ahead and kind of just zigzag my way through here kind of come down like this and then probably come back up this way and maybe try to catch them coming back this way i don't know we're just gonna keep hunting because i'm having fun and then that could should wrap up our first big group of mule deer challenges that we went ahead and we accepted early for in the beginning of the video all right let's just leave it at that let's get right back to the hunt oh my god he's right there are you freaking kidding Come on, get the spot, get the spot. Oh, where did he come from? That's a good buck. He's going to have a big deduction on that kicker, though, that drop time right there. All right, you guys, so we're back at the very start because we went, we circled and zigzagged. We went back around, and I was trying to follow this buck track up and around. At least I think it was a buck track, but I kept running into does. And it kept bumping them, bumping them, bumping them. And these does kept running all over the place. So I figured it's a little bit later in the day. So we're going to go ahead and fast travel back to the lodge. But literally soon as I made my way down the same path, we got a buck grunt right here on this mark right here. And I went ahead and I, I, I walked halfway to the dot and started crouch walking around. Was it the same buck? I'm not sure. But we got to this great advantage point right here. And I needed to shoot him at 50 meters or more, basically. And here I am, posted up right here. And my dot's straight out in front of me. I was really hoping he would come right through this beautiful opening right here and give me a nice shot right through these trees. And I'd get a shot. Then I heard something. I thought to myself, what? And lo and behold, he was right freaking here already. Just like that, he was right on top of us. And we put a beautiful, beautiful lung hit. Beautiful long hit, and he did not go far at all, and he is down right freaking here, you guys. So this is actually going to go ahead and complete the mission for my gun, for the uh, gun, I believe. Yeah, I think it should. Let me let me go ahead and double check real quick. All right, guys, so yes, this will complete the Nosler mission, and some of you guys are like, why is he picking up these trails? I think the next couple episodes, I'm going to go ahead and go over the spotting skills and tracking skills, weapon skills, and then kind of help you guys navigate through the store because you guys will be getting up there with a little bit of money here and there, but not a whole lot. Um, this will go ahead and wrap up another mission for today, and this could be a beautiful buck. He's got a nasty drop time, though, and for some of you guys who don't know, that's a huge deduction at a score of 151.2. So I'm going to get a little trophy shot here and show you guys this deduction and stuff like that. All right, for some of you guys who don't quite know, but I'm talking about a deduction, and that is drop time is a huge deduction. Then he has also has this little kicker right there on the left side of his horn. Other than that, he's pretty symmetrical, and his back tines are lacking a little bit right there. But you know what? A great buck regardless. So I'm going to go ahead and sell him for 70 GMs, and that should go ahead and complete the Nosler, 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 Nosler mission right there and that would have been harvest two mule deer bucks or two mule deer oh no i should have already completed that mission what am i thinking oh my goodness you guys we already did that mission 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Um, so it was an absolute great hunt. Wait, no. I shouldn't have done. Hold on, you guys. Hold on. I got to check this out. I got to check this out. All right, guys. So that actually did count for our mission. I'm not sure. I believe <clears throat> I believe I just didn't see it. Maybe I just didn't see that it completed that Nosler mission. And that is right there. It is complete. We went ahead and we got our 100 GMs from that. And then the next one is actually you're going to want to go ahead and pick it up now. And that is Harvest Red Fox or a Coyote three times with 223 ammo, which we don't have a 223, but I'm going to go ahead and pick it up anyways. And this is where I'm talking about that we are going to actually. Oh, oh, right here. Boone and Crockett Club mission two. I didn't pick that one back up. Gosh dang it. That's that first one that we went ahead and did and find five sets of tracks from the same mule deer. So we picked up another one. So we still got two mule deer missions to do one white tail mission and a couple small game here and there. So uh, another reminder really quick is you guys can go ahead and pick up all these missions, but I like doing it in order and go ahead and sit down and we're going to grind out this whitetail and mule deer missions up to the point where we can't do it anymore. And as you guys can see that nozzler mission, we're done with it until you guys go ahead and can purchase a 223. So as of right now, we are up to 1051 GM slowly but surely grinding our way out and I really hope you guys enjoyed this hunt and don't forget you guys if you guys did enjoy this hunt go ahead and leave a like down below if there's anything you guys want me to cover and kind of hop around and jump into or any questions let me know down in the comments down below you guys so I really hope you guys enjoyed like I said if you guys did smash that like button it really does help out the channel a lot and until next time you guys hunt safe shoot straight and we'll see you guys out there